KSL. I am Wolf. With me is Sports. We're casting Code A today. Are you, you excited? Doing? I'm very excited, How as always. How are you doing? I'm doing great. A lot better than uh, Unstable's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, Unstable was going to be casting with me here today, but unfortunately, he had to fix his tooth. His tooth's got kind of an issue. Yep. So I will be here with you guys today once again, one last time before we go into the full stableness. Uh, Tastosis is back, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> been missing them. They've been missing us, so they've been missing you guys as well. Yeah, they definitely have, so they're really excited to be back. I spoke with Nick yesterday. wasn't able to talk to Dan, but I'm, he's he was like, I'm so pumped to be back here yep. and casting GSTL. So you'll be seeing a lot more of those guys. Especially tonight with some uh, really good matches going on for yeah. the GSTL. We've got GSTL tonight. There's FXO versus ZenX, which should be pretty awesome. Yep. By the way, guys, down there you can see m.gomtv.net. Go to that website. Check it out on your mobile phone. Also follow GOM TV at GOM TV on Twitter. You can follow Torch at Torch Gaming. You can follow me at Epixo Wolf. No, so go ahead. This is actually Code A. We're not going to be uh, talking about the t Team League too much more. Uh, here's the results from yesterday. This is the round of 16. Today we're going to have the second half. Uh, All right, so Dream and Lenok. Noble S and Tastor, of course, advanced yesterday. Today we've got Tails versus Bonbons, Chef versus Puzzle. Happy versus Yu-Gi-Oh! and Jinro versus ASD. Should be some great games. ASD, of course, used to be known as Nuclear. He's on the team FOU. Puzzle, also known as Force Field Mon for a time. And uh, also used the name Zero, I was told. Zenix Zero. Yep. So. Yeah, very good Protoss player there from the Zenix team. Uh, definitely going to see him later today in the Team League. Uh, but we do have some other really good matches. We have Sheth and Jinro both playing today. Two foreigners yep. in a single code. This is an awesome day to have uh, happening here today. Yep. So... Look at our first player. There he is, Tails. Yes, it's Taren Tails. Uh, he did beat OGS the win 2-1. OGS the win, the coach from the OGS team. Uh, very strong Zerg player. He has been in Code S for a very long time, actually. Uh, but Tails was able to edge out the victory, and he will be actually facing NS Hoso Bonbons today. Yeah. Um, Bonbons, pretty good. He did advance, I want to say, through a stroke of luck in a PvP <laughs> against Soccer, where he went for DT, Soccer did not react properly, he was able to win that game, so... I don't know if he realizes that, I don't know if he's really watched the VODs of his games being cast, and realizes just how close that game really was. Maybe nervous, because he's playing another PvP here today. Yeah, and it is good to have the same matchup, because you can be a little bit prepared, but when you only edge out a victory slightly, uh, that could actually be a little demoralizing for you, because, like, one extra unit, from uh, soccer, and he would have lost the game. Yeah, that's, that's really going to be interesting to see if he completely changes the strategy because he knows there was that vulnerability, and Tails would actually be able to uh, check the replays as well and yeah. find out what vulnerability is there. And that that strategy did the fast Dark Templar was actually used on this very same first map, Zelnaga Fortress. I wonder if we'll see him do it again. I don't think it's very likely, but it's entirely possible. Of course, our second set will be on Zelnaga Caverns, and then after that, we'll have Belcher Beach. Very exciting games here. Belcher Beach is actually a really good map for Protoss versus Protoss. Just the way that the, uh, the second and the third are oriented, it really has a lot of different strategies that can come out into yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, very wide open, so Forgate can yep. be quite strong, but at the same time, you've got a lot of different options, a lot of different areas to maneuver around the map with Blink, your Colossi. Yep. There's some choke points, but there's also a lot of wide open areas, so it's a very interesting map. It's very changed from how it used to be with the news on the watchtowers. I really like the, the changes. Yeah. Uh, another interesting strategy that some people use is they put the uh, pylon on that raised ground right in, at your natural choke. Uh, and you can do a lot of different cheese strategies with that. Yeah, that's but very true. That is the third game. We're going to the first now. Alright, over here at the right side of the map, on this three-player map, Zelnaga Fortress. A member of the team MVP, named after a Sonic character, he is known as... MVP, Tails! <laughs> there he is. MVP Flipper. Looks like he is going to be going for a 10 gate. His opponent, on the other hand, the bottom left. And there's Soso, Bamba. There he is. I believe Bon Bon's uh, was referring to Candy. Uh, it was spelled a little bit differently in the, his first season of GSL, but yeah. he wanted to change to Von Bon. Uh, just personal preference, you gotta do what the players say. All right, well, interestingly enough, I wanna talk about this right off the bat. Tails is going for a 10 gate, which means he's most likely four gating. It's a very fast yep. four gate build. It could be a Korean four gate, but you don't see that anymore after the patch. 
Whereas his opponent, Bon Bons, is going for a cannon rush build. Luckily for Tails, Ooh. he already knows what's going on. <laughs> Immediately makes a forge. That is extremely unlucky there for Von Bons. Uh, Tails did get to be able to scout exactly what's going to be going on. He's going to be able to counter this perfectly. Uh, he's going to be perfectly fine. A cannon will go down here on the low ground. He may even make two, but most likely he's just going to go up to the high ground, scout what's going on in his opponent's base. And cry. Yeah, he is going to cry. He's going to cancel that cannon immediately when he sees the forge. Yep, and smartly, uh, Tails is putting down another pylon here so that when that cannon does take down the first pylon, everything still remains powered. Yeah, he's going to want to make a cannon near his mineral line as well. There's that first cannon on the high ground. And basically, Bombots is going to have to keep that probe alive for vision. Yep. Going to make cannons here. This could end up working. But it doesn't end up, it does not going to end up mattering if he does kill this probe and the zealot because he won't be able to push cannons really further into the base. Just has to buy time for his own two cannons to get up. He should have enough hit points on those cannons to keep them alive. If Tails were to pull a bit more probes here, which he's doing right now, he can take down this last pylon on the top of the, the uh, cliff. Uh, he did focus, try to focus that down so that he can get rid of the vision like you were talking about, but he didn't quite succeed, and this other photon cannon is not shooting where it should be. Bonbons brings in a second probe, and he is going to be able to keep the high ground vision. It's actually really, really good for Bonbons. He's pulling up uh, what could have been a catastrophe and turning it into a game that might actually have a chance. Yeah, I, I can't believe this is even happening. Tails didn't even have to do this. He could have just made cannons near his nexus, and then Bonbons wouldn't be able to push the cannons any further towards his nexus. Now he's in a really tough spot, because when these cannons on the high ground finish, they will be able to hit that nexus. And that will be lights out for Tails. Yeah, and Bonbons, in the meantime of this, is getting 18 probes compared to Tails is only 13. So even if Tails is able to defend this, Bonbons is still ahead economically. Very true. And as soon as these cannons finish battling, Tails is going to come out so behind. And I believe that Nexus can be hit. He's going to target down his forge. The Nexus can be hit. And I hate to say it for Tails, but this is game over. Yep. There's nothing he can do. That is checkmate. Uh, those cannons are just going to slowly move closer and closer. All the tech buildings for Tails are going to die very, very soon. He's uh, desperately trying to chrono boost out a Zealot to go and counterattack Bonbon's main. There are no cannons back there, but even so, the Zealot's not going to be able to do enough damage. Even the probes will be enough to stop it. Yeah, uh, Bonbon's saving up enough resources to be able to throw down a wall off as soon as he sees the Zealot moving across the field. He just throws down two more pylons and a cannon right behind it, and there's really not a whole lot that the Zealot can do. Yep, this is going to be it for Tails. There goes the Nexus. Doesn't have enough to rebuild. Actually, I take it back, he just rebuilt one in the north. But even dragging this game out might even... He may be doing this just to kind of hurt the uh, mentality of Bonbons, make him play a longer game, frustrate him a little bit, so then the next game he'll be a little bit more worn out. But I can't stress to you guys, it's literally impossible for Tails to win now. Uh, that is very true, but this is a series, best of three series, so you do look at this. to get the mentality in. And this is a really good position by, uh, by Bon Bons. He is throwing down both pylons so that he can keep a uh, photon cannon in between there that can't be attacked by those probes. Yeah, and if he cancels the Nexus, I don't think he'll have enough money. He just barely has enough for another Nexus. He's going to make it, it looks like, possibly right outside of Bon Bon's base. Nope, going to take it over here. GG! Yep. Just realizes it's impossible, making himself look silly, almost trying to stay yeah. in the game at that point. <laughs> Only gets so much camera time, he wants to make sure that it's good camera time. Exactly. So, Bon Bon's, last time he played on this map, went for fast Dark Templar. This time, decided to go for a cannon rush. You can tell he's not very comfortable with his PvP. Yeah, uh, or necessarily on that map. He might not have the best experience with it. It is a relatively newer map. Uh, he might be more focused on the map that are used for the OB qualifier for GSL. And then, because of that, you don't have very long long game strategy compared to map. No, exactly. And I want to talk a little bit about that game. When he made the second pylon, that was fine. But what you normally do is you make a pylon, and you get your first cannon up the defense everywhere where your nexus yep. can be hit by a cannon. Once that cannon is up, if he tries to out cannon you, he's like, well, if you only have one, if I warp in two, you won't be able to kill both of them fast enough, then you make a second one. And then you match his cannons, and you keep your nexus alive. You defend your base. You don't try to compete with his cannons on the low ground that are already finished. That's not going to work. It's yep. just never going to work. He's gonna, he already has that cannon finished. No matter how many probes you pull, if he had done it just a little bit better, it might have worked. I understood what he was trying to do. He was just trying to kill the high ground vision. Yeah. But you just can't do that. Yeah, it, it was some, a good effort by him. Maybe that he hasn't experienced this a whole lot and thought, oh, well, if I take down the vision, then I can take down the photon cannon on the low ground. So I want to be in range of that first photon cannon. I can't but tell as you. you were saying, it was it's not the right thing. Yeah, to do I can't situation. tell you how many games I've lost in that same way where I should have reacted differently, but yeah. didn't, because when there are cannons there, you freak out. 
You just freak out. You don't play like you should. You're like, all I gotta do is eliminate the vision of the high ground. Then the cannon on the low ground will die. But you're like, but there's a probe there. I can't kill the probe. I need to kill the cannon. You're, where, where do I pull my probes? It's very frustrating. It's it's very stressful. And the photon cannons actually kill other photon cannons quite slowly. So uh, Bonbon's actually had enough time to bring in a second probe so that when the first cannons were about to exactly. go down, you could just throw it down even more. Yeah. But. So that was kind of an unfortunate game. Yep, but hopefully we can move from the fortress to the cavern, and uh, maybe Tails can pull back a victory from this Yeah, one. I think Tails will probably show us something a little bit different. Maybe play a little bit safer <laughs> than what we saw him do last Scout time. Scout a little bit better, maybe. But yeah, of course he knows. I'm sure he's watched the, the broadcast of Bonbons. He knows in PvP is known to do all-ins. 4-gate, DT is cannoning now. He's probably going to play very safely. I don't think we'll see a 10-gate, but let's jump into the game right now.